what's up guys I just want to say I'm kind of new to OBS so the gameplay audio doesn't work but my audio on the base cam does so I decided to put roller coaster tycoon music in the background enjoy yo what's going on guys X step X here and uh, I've been drinking a little bit but that's all right that's besides the point I don't even know why I brought that up but we're playing roller coaster tycoon 2 um, one of my favorite games next to Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and uh, The Sims 1. I don't know if the game audio is too loud. I don't think it is. Maybe I'm just tripping. But what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to compare The Six Flags Great Adventure uh, in game to The Six Flags Great Adventure in real life. And uh, there's obviously not a lot of rides there anymore in 2020 as there was back in like when this game was made in 2002, I want to say. So we're just going to look into details and, uh, you know, check it out. Alright, real parks. Six Flags Great Adventure. See, I've been to this park probably like 20 times. I live in Jersey and this is right in Jacksonville. I'm like three hours away, maybe two hours away from it. Um, so we're gonna start off obviously at the entrance. Um, the entrance is a little different. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna get picky with this. Obviously, uh, there's like five, six, seven, eight gates, I would say, maybe more than that, in a big parking lot. So, having two of these in the entrance, how it looks kind of right there by the bathrooms and stuff, it looks kind of unfamiliar to me. But this area right here with all the, uh, with all the, uh, plants, the benches and all that, that's definitely there. I don't know if it looks exactly like that, but it's something close. Uh, the Ferris wheel is nearby, somewhat. <laughs> the Ferris wheel, I'm pretty sure, is in the front of the park like that. Um, this right here actually does exist in real life. Um... But I don't even know, like a zip line of some sort, the sky ride, this brings you like across the park so lazy people don't have to uh, walk on foot. So I've been on that once, not gonna lie. Um, we're gonna scroll down. We got a lot of people here. This is why I like this game because it's like these rides, a lot of these rides don't exist anymore. But in this game, you check it out and you're like, wow. Like, I remember these rides growing up. Excuse me. Alright. So we come over here. I have a story for this one. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. Blackbeard's Lost Treasure Train. Um, me and my sister, we would always go on this ride. We'd probably go on this ride like five times in a row. We would get on the ride. There'd be no one in line. So we would just hop back on. Do it again. Did the same process like three times. The roller coaster... Uh, I think was a little bigger. It, it kind of looks identical from what I remember. Now, if that's still there, I don't remember because I'm not going to lie. I was like 17 years old and I still went on that and I was like, woo! You know, uh, the excitement's definitely there. Uh, there used to be, well, it's not in this game, obviously, because it wasn't developed yet, but there's like a stadium or an aquarium over here in this local area. It would be like whales, dolphins stuff like that sea nature um the paths are a little different but i'm not gonna get into that too much it's kind of the same but not really however you want to take it uh the food court there was a food court didn't look exactly like that but there was a food court directly here by the one uh runaway train which is right over here we're gonna check that out as well why do i keep clicking on people i don't care about you what the fuck is going on? Alright, so the runaway train. You see how the train just went over the water? My favorite part of being like 10 years old at the time, being on this ride, I tried to stick my hand in the water even though you weren't supposed to, but I was like, ah, fuck them. I stuck my hand in the water. It was the best ride ever. And it still is a good ride. I'm pretty sure it's still running even though it's very, very old. I don't know why it's not working. Maybe I gotta use my mouse. Okay, that's more efficient. Oh, it broke down. See, that didn't happen to me when I was on that ride. All right, so over here now, ladies and gentlemen, is called Medusa. 
I just gotta admire the snake head. To be honest, this was my first upside down roller coaster. My ex ex girlfriend uh, actually forced me to go on this. She said, uh, "Go on this or no sex." So I went on it. Um, whether it's my life or sex. So it's called Bizarro now, which is the super ha uh, Superman's arch nemesis or uh, bad guy or whatnot. The coaster still looks the same. I went there about about three years ago it's still the same the only thing is that it's purple and they added new features like here and here they added flames so when you go over those two little corkscrews there's just explosions in your face it like burns off your flesh it's great not literally but they put flames there to make it look cool i guess more suspenseful over here they put some frost on you i guess i don't know why they put that in there unless they're expecting you to like catch on fire and they're like here let's uh rinse you off you'll be fine so runaway train and uh medusa aka bizarro now in 2020 2019 whatever you want to call it within those dates is now called bizarro i'm not sure what was over here i think there was another aquarium that was always closed i don't remember what that was there's a lot of people here. There are almost 2,000 guests. Alright, so we're going to go down a little bit. I don't know what the fuck this was back in the day. Um, When I was playing this game back in 2007, 2008. I think they were trying to go for the games where uh, you kind of shoot the the hoops and the bottles and you use the dart to shoot the balloons and if you win you get a teddy bear like those little side games they tried pulling that off and they did pretty good damn i'm dehydrated so i think they did pretty good with that you got the information booth you know stuff like that uh now this ride right here the uh space shuttle this actually does exist I think it looks a little different, but it is pretty much the same ride, and it was near this ride right here. And this is a ride I never got to experience, and it's called the American Scream Machine. It's alright. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of loops and shit, but, um, but I can't really judge because I haven't been on it. And rumor says they closed it down because it was really old, it was getting rusty, and that um, it was hurting people's necks and backs. And just because of how old it was, they closed it down. And they replaced it with the Green Goblin, which is pretty uh, annoying. The Green Goblin, I went on it one time when I went the last time. And it's a stand-up roller coaster, the harness goes over you, and you're standing. So like every time you go down those steep hills and you do like a straight up, you just feel all your weight go to your ankles and legs. And I can't imagine people that are like 400 pounds that go on that. And no offense, but you know, it's like, how do they feel? It's like, <laughs> oh, my feet, you know? So the Green Lantern shit, if they just maintain this ride, I would go on the American Scream Machine. I heard this was a classic, <clears throat> a classic. Uh, this ride over here exists. It pretty much looks the same. I'm not sure if it's in the right spot. I think it was kind of close to that. But, um, it wasn't too bad of a ride. I went on it a few times. And uh, then I saw some YouTube videos of people falling off and dying. So, I uh, haven't been on it since. Now, if we go back over here. This was my first ride ever. Now, you know, the ride Medusa was my first upside down roller coaster. But this roller coaster right here, this was the first ride I've ever been on. And it was a wooden coaster, so it didn't go upside down. It wasn't too, too extreme. And as you can see right here, we got blue and yellow coming out. We used to be able to race. Um, a few people would go up. Or a few people. One cart would go up, and the other cart would go up. And you would just try and race. And whoever got there first won. But as you can see, the track gets different. The one on the left goes up, the other one goes down. But why this one goes up and all the way around, he gets an advantage by going around that corner. So it was always a challenge. And the one time I won on it, I lost 
my cart lost. I don't know because there was a bigger person in the back. I don't know what it was, but uh, the other team won. And uh, they knocked it down about f five years ago at this point, I want to say it was. And the last time I was on it, it uh, only had one coaster going. They weren't racing anymore. There was only one cart open. I think it was the left one. And uh, that was kind of sad because the race was the whole excitement of it. It's like, yeah, I'm going like this the whole time, breaking my fucking neck on an old wooden coaster. But I still wanted to compete. That was the point of the ride, in my opinion. And unfortunately, they only had one cart going at a time. And I believe it was this one. Did I say the right one? So it was this one. I actually don't remember which one I said, but I think it was the one that does this cool little crossover. I'm um, trying to see what else there is. I mean, overall, that's really about it. Oh, no, I did Skull Mountain. That was the first wooden coaster I've ever been on. I think it might be the only one that I know of within the Six Flags franchise all over the world or all over the country of the U.S. that um was inside in the complete dark. And, uh, you didn't know where you were going. You didn't know if you were going straight, and you were like, oh, okay, I'm good. And then all of a sudden, it was like, whoop! It was just, uh, it was just a stroke on a ride. So, I'm gonna actually peek on the inside. You can kind of see it, the roof's in the way, but that's kind of generally what it would look like. You were just twisting and turning. There were some straight lines you would curve over. Um, I gave that ride, like, a 7 out of 10, because it's like... Like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> you know, I don't like that feeling. Um, Nitro. Uh, oh, oh, we didn't even get to this part of the park. What am I talking about? Nitro is my favorite ride of all time. Of all time. And it still is. It doesn't be Superman or Batman, which is also not on this uh, game. Because it was, I guess it wasn't out yet. Or they just didn't produce it. I'm not too sure. But Nitro, look at this first drop. It, the track looks exactly the same. It does a little loop over. It comes down. It does this little corkscrew. It breaks. It goes down. It does a couple hoops. And that's the end. Nitro is my favorite ride just for that reason. Now, next to Nitro. Is it next to Nitro? There's like this whole new thing over here where it's like... Something to do with like characters of some sort. It's like some weird stuff. I don't even know. It's a ride I'll never go on. Now, um, I'm going to shed a tear because this is no longer here, I believe. They could have redid it or something else, but the last, like, five times I went on it, there was no water at all. It was just empty tubes, and um, it was cool because they had, like, certain areas where you just get splashed on, and there was, like, little waves and waterfalls, and I don't think that's a thing anymore, unfortunately. And uh, what made me want to make this video, to be completely honest is the fact that I love Six Flags. Like, what's over here now, I wonder? Oh, there's the park a lot. You're just missing all the gates. But anyways, um, I really want to go back to Six Flags. I might go at the end of the year, of this coming year. Bring me and a couple friends, go on some rides, enjoy. I personally love roller coasters, even though some people are like, oh, it's man-made, I'll never trust it. So are airplanes, and you know how many people use those? Is that even a good excuse? I don't know. But anyways, if you want me to make more videos of me checking out other parks and the details within and see how I like the rides and whatnot, if you're interested in that kind of stuff based on nostalgic old games, or if you want me to play Sims 1, which I adore, Sims 2, I gotta download it, but I adore that as well, those two. Or if you want me to build my own park and see what it comes out to look like. Let me know in the comments below. I'll know if you like this video by the like, ra uh, the like ratio. I can't talk today by the like ratio. So if I can get this video to 100 likes, I will make a second part to this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.